Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and as some of you may know, I sell things on eBay. And I just have to say this, selling things on eBay is actually pretty useful, I'm not going to lie, it's a nice tool to have. Except, it seems like the eBay developers of the website have thrown all common sense out of the window, and selling things on eBay is a pain in the butt, unlike any other. Let me explain something to you guys. So... I, mean, I use my dad's eBay account. I sell stuff for him on his eBay account. Now, you would think that on eBay, your pay, the one PayPal you have linked to pay for everything, you could just click a button and it would be so. It is not so. Let me explain. There is a different eBay account, or sorry, a different PayPal account to buying things, selling things, and paying for shipping. Now, I one day noticed that my PayPal was paying for the shipping labels. I said, okay, I'm going to change it. So uh, I clicked on change my pay PayPal payment methods, and it said, okay, you changed it, and I paid for another shipping label, and my PayPal still paid for it. Turns out eBay did not correctly identify my problem. I could click change my PayPal address. I did it three times. did not work. What you actually had to do was go into your PayPal settings on paypal.com and change, get rid of like the eBay permissions or something, and then set up your PayPal from there. eBay decided, oh, we're not gonna tell you exactly what the problem is, we're just gonna link you to the page and hope that's relevant. Okay, there's all these issues with eBay. Stuff like if you sell an item, like if you sell an item, right? You, you, you click, I wanna sell my whatever. You fill out the sales stuff, you go down, you click save and you list it. Instead of being able to go back to the My eBay and look at other listings, what do you have to do? You only have the only option on the page is to sell another thing, right? So if you're revising listings and lowering prices, every time you have to reload eBay.com. It is so annoying. And I honestly think this is one of the reasons why eBay isn't as, as popular as it could be. There's so many old people and even middle-aged people that still use eBay. I think... Probably more people use eBay in the older generation than the younger generation. The younger generation uses Amazon and I think probably Facebook Marketplace. But the older generation, eBay. So you would think if older generation uses eBay, eBay should be simple. Yet eBay is not simple. I mean, if you go, there's like this thing called My eBay. That's like the all the tabs and stuff, like accounts and informations and stuff. The... There's an accounts tab, there's personal payments tab, and some, some other tab. They have different styles. You click on accounts tab, and it looks like a website from the 90s. You click on another tab, and all of a sudden eBay changes, and it looks like a website from 2004. All right, I don't get why the, the owners and developers of eBay think this is a good idea. Like, like the intuition behind navigating as an ebay seller it, it, it's not positive it's negative okay on a scale of one to ten of how easy ebay to use it's like a negative five on just fixing little problems but then there's other things like there was one time i think i paid for like too many ounces on shipping and ebay's like oh we've credited your account because you paid on too much shipping it's like thanks ebay and then there's other things like i said changing paypal where it's a freaking hassle customer support half the time doesn't even know what the problem is they have no idea what your problem is because ebay is the most confusing freaking website to navigate i'm sorry ebay is failing because they suck at fixing their website and making it actually usable to the normal human being which I think, honestly, even though eBay is I mean, eBay's kind of oversaturated, I would say, but they're not as saturated as you would expect eBay to be, man. Come on. So this video goes out to eBay. Fix your website. As a seller, it sucks to fix issues on your website. That's all I have to say, guys. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make. And let's hope that eBay actually hears this and fixes their website.